Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a little bit different video and it's going to be art supplies haul and also I will show you stuff that I got at anime convention that I went recently and it's called Fanime in San Jose and also some stuff that I got online so let's start with art supplies first I'm going to show you these beautiful inks that I got at local art store called um, Flax Art Materials. These two are FW by Dale Rowney and those are acrylic inks. One in magenta, which is basically pink, and purple lake, which is purple. <laughs> but the difference between these two, which is violet and purple, is that this one has more of a pink undertone and this one has blue undertone which I prefer more but both of them are waterproof so it doesn't really matter to me which one to use you know so this one is from Higgins it's pigment based ink I honestly don't know the difference between acrylic and pigment inks you know for me it matters that they don't bleed after I put water over them that's <laughs> that's it <laughs> so you've seen me drawing with this ink my previous picture and the picture before that was inked with this magenta ink yes so those are my favorite inks so far right now we'll put them away next thing i picked up at my local target is these mechanical pencil and colorful leads um, they are erasable and I thought I'd try them I don't really remember how much they were but nothing too expensive so I haven't tried it yet but I'm excited I always excited about color pencils that are erasable maybe it's just like you know replacement of my color erase pencils that I usually use it would be nice to carry it, this one, in, you know, my travel bag. So, I will try them and tell you what I think about it. Another thing is this Pantel Aquash water brush. It's the brush I usually use and I just needed a new one. And I prefer medium size. I don't like carrying all of them, so medium is just perfect for me. Basically, you just fill these parts with water and you ready to go and paint. You don't need to carry uh, some cup with water with you outside every time you go paint outside or something. And it's very decent brush. Yeah, yeah, this, I like it. Okay, next art supplies is going to be, yay, Holbein watercolor. Don't mind the package, they just give me boxes to carry them, the paint tubes home. So I got quite a few paints. So lilac, which you've probably seen before, Indian red, Imidus alone brown, I hope it pronounced it this way, I have no idea. And one more box, which is Mars Violet, Burnt Sienna, and Burnt Umber. Don't mind this package. They told me it's just a new package. Nothing is wrong with it. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited about these watercolors. I got hooked on them at my local store because the artist that works there he's a big fan of them and he just you know give gives me advices on new art supplies he's he likes and i'm very willing to try them um, about a year ago he showed me these watercolors and i started with jean brilliant number two and regular one and then with leaf green and after that i've just cannot stop building my collection so 
they are quite expensive too, but the quality is super good and Holbein is known for producing artists, professional quality art supplies. They don't produce uh, student quality. I know I told you many times that it's not important to me, but I mean, this is uh, the only professional watercolor I have. <laughs> so yeah, this is my precious, my precious. Okay, <laughs> let me put them away. And I will try these colors about now. Let's do that. Some paper. I'm going to brush and I'm going to water. Let me put water on this side. Let's start with burned umber. like this color. Okay, next color gonna be Mars Violet. I have no idea why it's called this way. But look how pretty is this color. Look at it. It's amazing. Ah, oh, just get excited painting with them. I don't have many brown colors and most of them I just uh, blend myself, so having these pre-made that I maybe haven't even thought about making is so exciting. This is burnt sienna. It's very pretty orangey brown color that I actually use a lot for for drawing red hair. <laughs> Yeah, this one, the the great color with the name that I can't pronounce. Okay, let's try it out. Oh gosh, look at this! It's so beautiful. Mars violet. Wait, I've tried Mars Violet already. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it's gonna be darker Mars Violet. Man, I did notice, I'm sorry. And Indian Red, yes, Indian Red is... Honestly, when I saw the swatches, it felt like it's gonna be my favorite color. Look at how pretty it is. I really like how it looks. Yes, and Lilac I'm not gonna try because I already made a mud <laughs> in the water, but it's very pretty color. You've seen it in my previous paintings. So this is the colors I got. I think they're very, very pretty and I'm excited to paint with them. Next thing is I know, not very exciting, but this is archival varnish. I've been looking for varnish for quite a long time, and this is the varnish that works with acrylic, watercolor, oil pastel, color pencil, basically everything. And the one, it's in spray, and I got a matte one, so I haven't tried it yet, but I'm very excited to try it, so we'll see, we'll see. Another kind of art supply, but not really, is this pencil bag. Well, actually, it's a cosmetic bag that I got at Target. It was about $3, and I like the design, and I think it's gonna be perfect to fit my all my art supplies while I'm traveling, that, which I'm gonna be doing a lot. <laughs> Another thing is this boy. Oh, he's dusty. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's 
She's dusty because I got it quite a while ago, like maybe a month ago. And I've been playing with it just for a little bit. And only the streams and people probably saw when I was drawing the Jasper. But this is the figure that you basically can pose in different poses and almost all the limbs are movable. So it's very nice to have a reference to draw male body. And when I saw it online, I asked my husband that I really like, I told my husband that I really like it and he got it for me instantly. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Thank you. Yeah, it's by SH Figure, f figure, figures. <laughs> okay, it's by, by Bandai. Anyway, it's very useful. They also have it in gray color and uh, as girl model too, but I figure that I'm pretty decent at drawing girls, but not very good at drawing men, so I got the men one. So this is it with all the art supplies I got recently, and let's see what I got online from my art friends. So first thing is these cute pink and patch from my friend Monroe. You can find her Etsy store right here. And she made this beautiful pin. It says Kirby. I really like it. And I like all her designs. And these um, this patch that just says Marshmallow Girl. I really feel it and I was so in love with it. I had to buy it from her. <laughs> Another thing is this cute moth pin made by Olivia Chin Miller. Right now they are running Kickstarters with all the other characters that are made in the same style. And you can check out their her Etsy store and see what they got there. It's really, really pretty and I was <laughs> the one who pre-ordered it even before they were made because it was too pretty. I, I couldn't resist and um, I have quite, uh, quite a good pin collection. Um, yeah, I, I had to get it. <laughs> now the thing is these beautiful, beautiful zine by Heikala. I really like her art. Her style is amazing. I couldn't resist. I like everything that I buy, I say that I can't resist. And that is true. I really like her art, her style. And every time she gets something new at her store, I, I feel like I have to get it. That's why I also got this tote bag with a uh, witch design with owls. It's super pretty. I'm saving it. I, I'm afraid to start using it. It's too pretty. <laughs> and from her, I also got this witchy print, which is so beautiful. Look at all the details. It's it's beautiful. I cannot stop staring at it <laughs> and can't wait to put it on my walls. And uh, the last thing from artists that I got, and I will show it for you, is this little Inktober zine by Denai. Oh, sorry, I'm really bad at pronouncing other people's names. But this is Inktober zine from her art from 2016, I guess. It's super beautiful and her style is absolutely amazing. It's very inspiring. I'm a big fan of her work and I'm also collecting different art books and zines by different artists and that's a perfect addition to my collection. <laughs> and here's the other thing that I got online. This is, yes, this is our book for Persona. 
game. It's it's big. It's it's amazing. It has character development, illustrations, sketches. Oh, it, it's beautiful. You guys, I yes. <laughs> I I said that I really wanted it for reference and I guess it's it's kind of true, not just for you know staring at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm addicted to pins, art books, and buying stuff from my friends, and just in general buying beautiful stuff. I I think you already noticed that this is beautiful, oh, precious. <laughs> And here is the stuff that I got at Fenimi. <sighs> I hope you know what it is. This is the comic by Hamlet Machine called Starfighter. <laughs> Pretty explanatory. <laughs> it's 18 plus. There are lots of mature content. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to really show you what's inside and not spoil everything and also keep my my channel chat friendly so <laughs> check it out online guys it's it's beautiful it's precious and I've been following Hamlet machine since I was a baby artist on different art like I don't know how many years ago maybe 15 years ago <laughs> oh boy okay let's put it away it's <sighs> and the last thing i got these beautiful prints look at it this is amethyst from Steven Universe and I got another one for my friend it's Pearl April if you see this this one is for you I got it for you got your girl it's beautiful right uh, yeah and it's made by come on come on uh, Harangi sorry i'm very bad at pronouncing somebody's names and she was super nice and we talk a little bit she's super beautiful and nice person we talk a little bit and she gave me a bunch of extra stuff which i'm forever grateful these are their stickers i am obsessed look at them these one are exclusive stickers that she was selling at the convention and she gave it to me. Oh, this one is my personal favorite, my moon baby. Uh, moth baby. Look at her. So unique and beautiful. And another moth. I gave her some of my stickers too, but I feel like you cannot compare her beautiful art to mine. We are super different in styles, but I'm very, very big fan of her work it's it's amazing thank you so much thank you so much for being nice to me <laughs> and this is it for the haul i hope you liked it it's a bit different from my usual videos but i didn't have time to didn't have time to create any picture like in the last two days because i was super busy with other exciting stuff Wink, wink, that's gonna come in soon in July. So, hope you have a great day and see you next time. Bye.